story that you'll see only on NBC Bay Area. The city of San Jose has spent the last few days denouncing other cities for luring away its police recruits. But as it turns out, San Jose has been doing the same thing for years, poaching from other departments. NBC Bay Area's Damien Trujillo joins us now with this exclusive story. Damien. Well, Roger, there's been a policy in place, and that policy encourages a recruitment of veterans and rookies from other departments. It's called the lateral transfer or lateral hire, if you will. Now, that's not illegal, but critics say San Jose should not throw stones from its own glass house. The police academy is where they train to become a part of San Jose's finest. But it's also where other cities have come to recruit the same cadets after the city of San Jose has paid for the expensive training program. The hiring of San Jose recruits has angered many at City Hall because it costs $170,000 to train each officer. Councilman Sam Licardo even issued this memo, proposing recruits pay back the cost of training or perhaps sending the bill to the city that hires them. The problem is twofold. One is that our taxpayers are on the hook for $170,000 in training costs. But NBC Bay Area obtained this memo of SJPD's recruiting incentive program. It encourages any employee of the police department to recruit an officer from another city, either a veteran or a rookie. The San Jose officer would get comp time for each officer he or she recruits. San Jose does not exist in some sort of isolated environment. Political analyst Larry Gersten says what's good for San Jose has to be good for other cities. He says luring employees and managers from one city to another is nothing new. So San Jose shouldn't get upset when other cities are poaching its cops. As long as everyone's competing for these people, everyone has to be a big boy and girl about it and realize that, you know, what goes one way can go the other. While San Jose police would not talk about this policy on camera, they did say the intent was never to lure new recruits away from other cities. Licardo thinks the police policy is a good one. We should continue to encourage our officers to be out there talking to other officers who may be interested in a career here in San and we know that's happening in every city in the Bay Area. Serial number. To which critics say, don't get mad when other cities do it to you. We have reported that roughly 17 uh, new recruits who graduated from the police academy last month in San Jose either have one foot out the door or have already left. The brass here at police headquarters tells me they've left because of, pen of pension reform, the uh, lower benefits that they're getting and the lower disability benefits that they're getting. More to come. We're live at police headquarters in San Jose. I'm Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area. News. Certainly some low morale there. Thanks, Damian. Now, more details on our top story. There have only been three academies in San Jose in the last four years. From the December 2009 group, there were no defections. But San Jose PD laid off 67 graduates because of budget issues. Some were later rehired. The rest said, no thanks. The March 2013 academy had no defections. And the most recent class, which graduated last month, had five defections, but according to our sources, 12 others are going through background checks, which indicates they could be in the process of getting hired by another city. Just